okay now coming back to the prepayment change the status to prepayment you you, you give any prepayment number prepayment is nothing but a advance payment to the vendor so 15000 rupees go to the lines 15000 go to distributions so if you remember the prepayment account will be automatically defaulted from your supplied site okay that's the prepayment or advance account okay save this so the initial status of this particular prepayment invoice will be unvalidated okay click on actions validate okay it is now validated okay now you need to make the payment of this particular invoice so now we'll try to make a payment of this particular invoice that is the payment what is the payment method check okay that's fine then we should be able to make a payment actions painful even for this prepayment there is a withholding of 1500 okay so that means now you should make a payment of only 13500 painful okay select your bank account payment process profile is uh, reliance uh, postpaid check save this okay you made a payment of this invoice now try to requery this now you should be able to see the status as paid <coughs> okay it says available okay so that means when you say available so this is an advanced invoice advanced payment to the vendor now when you try to create any standard invoice you can apply this particular prepayment to the standard invoice that is nothing but a kind of an advance against the whatever the advance whatever you paid you are adjusting against the standard invoice so that you can pay only the remaining part of the standard invoice okay now i'll try to create a standard invoice so now observe here as soon as i try to click a tab as soon as i enter this vendor number and tab it, it throws a message one prepayment is available for the application of this supplier so it is a message saying that there's a prepayment available do you want to apply that okay now i uh, okay so abc 5000 some invoice number now i'll try to create an invoice for say 50000 okay out of 50000 i want to apply this 15000 and remaining 35000 i want to pay separately it's it's simple that even in layman terms like whenever you create pay an advance to a vendor then obviously for the next invoice whatever is going to give to us you you are going to adjust the advance okay now click on actions validate and then actions apply or unapply prepayment okay click on apply see as i as i said i once i check select the checkbox of apply and apply it is showing all the prepayments available against the particular vendor okay i want to apply the total 15000 save this if you want to unapply then you need to click on unapply okay that is like if you do not want to again uh, apply this particular prepayment okay now you can see amount paid is 15000 okay out of 15000 50000 amount prepayment is 15000 withholding tax is 5000 and now you need to make a payment of only remaining 30000 okay as you have made a prepayment it, it has gone to needs revalidation status so again validate the invoice okay so this is how you create a prepayment and then apply that particular prepayment against the standard invoice and now when you try to make a payment the system will allow you to make a payment of only thirty thousand it go to actions painful i'll just show you the amount i'll not proceed further see the payment amount is thirty thousand okay so this is how you create a prepayment apply the prepayment to the invoice and if you do not want to apply you can again click on this actions unapply is nothing but reversal save this okay now again click on actions validate okay now again you are back so you can you now prepayment is zero okay it has removed the prepayment details so 
earlier you, it, it used to show the prepayment details now as you have reversed that now it is not showing any prepayment details okay any other questions okay thanks guys uh, tomorrow